Yes, sir. Everything went as expected. Mm -hmm. I'll cut an hour off, Mr. Phillips, as agreed. Uh, no. Actually, there was one. Uh, a certain Mr. Benton. No, he wasn't ready last week, sir. Sir, please, trust me. Do you know how long I've been doing this? Yes, yes, sir. Consider Mr. Benton top of my list for today. Yes, sir, I'm just starting my shift now, sir. Thank you, sir. You too, sir. your card with him. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunately he passed away a few weeks ago and I thought that I could settle things. Do you mind if I come in? I'm absolutely freezing. Oh, I don't know. Well, I... I'm busy. I've got work to do. Well, I won't be long, I promise. <sighs> I was just curious. It's just that I, I saw your card and I have no idea what you do. So, what do you do then, Greg? Uh, nothing much. It's just mostly paperwork. So, like, what's with all these people? What do you do with them? Well, actually, I like to think of myself as a collector. Oh cool, so it's like all old antiques and stuff like that? Yeah, stuff like that. Hey, listen, uh, I've got to shoot off, but uh, when you finish work tomorrow, how do you fancy uh, catching lunch or something? No, thanks. Um, I've got plans. Um, are we going out with friends? Yeah, I forgot people do stuff like that. Not really, I'm not into that whole social thing. Right, well, uh, I'll see you tomorrow then. Peter's office. Can you repeat the name, sir? I'm sorry, sir. It looks like I've misplaced the file. Yes, sir. I'll do it now, sir, right away, sir. Sorry, sir. How can I help you? Molly, hi. Well, I'm supposed to be meeting a client in the park in about half an hour. Yeah, I guess so. 
Okay, great. I'll I'll see you in the park in a in a bit then. Great. See you then. Was yeah. Well, is he okay? I'm sure he's fine. Look, we're supposed to be relaxing. Remember? So what's wrong then? It's just work. You no, know, once you've been in a job like mine for so long, it kind of starts getting to you. You know? Well, I don't know, Greg. You seem to have a nice place. You seem to meet people, and well, you're not a bad looking. See, by the way, you seem to have plenty of hours off. Yeah, that's the thing that I'm not supposed to. I'm meant to be at work now, actually. Well, are you the only one? What do you mean? You know, colleagues, co-workers, that kind of thing. I used to be the only one. But now, there's more people, and more demand. The guys at the top. I had to employ a load more. I used to be the best. I'm nothing compared to these new kids. So why don't you just quit? I can't this job. It's my life, my duty. Besides, it's the only thing I know how to do. Come on, let's go. No, sir. I must have got the paperwork mixed up, sir. I'm sorry. Sir, be reasonable. You know, I couldn't possibly do double shifts. Hello, Jack. How are we today? Are you the doctor? Why do you ask? It's my back. It's killing me. Are you here to help me? Yes, Jack. Yes, I am. Yeah, hey, watch this for a trick shot. Just be careful, yeah. Ooh. Dave? Dave, mate. You right? He's not breathing. Somebody call an ambulance. We must all go full circle. Know that no life is a life cut short. For all lives are completed. Mrs. Green, you're staying here. Okay. 
actually feel. Suffocation. You should know it was your climb before it got dumped onto me. Yeah, I heard about that. Tough break. But five minutes late. They weren't joking about you, were they? What? Who said that? Well, you know, it's just rumour has it. It's just a rumour. Spit out! Well, if you carry on like this, they're going to chuck you out. It's not my fault. There's too much paperwork nowadays. You get yourself an assistant then. Look, I've told you before, yes, Phil. Yes, yes, I know. The mighty veteran Greg works alone and only alone. You should just drop it. Get with the times. You've just been stupid. Just leave it. I've got enough things to worry about at the moment. I know you do. There's people all over this town who shouldn't be here. And they're all clients under your name. So, mate... Oh, crap! That reminds me. Second chance to live your life again then, Jimbo. What are you going to do first? Well, I ain't going to be sitting on any ledges anytime soon. I'm going to have to have a fish bite to your cover, maybe. Yeah, no problem. Jimmy Jones. You alright, mate? Bubba! Jeez, Bubba! Bubba! Bubba, wake up, Bubba! Wake up! Wake up! Bubba! Wake up! Wake up! Excuse me. Do you know this man? Yes, it's Bubba! It's Bubba, Bubba! Well, if that's Bubba, then... Oh, Molly. He's dying. He's dying. Don't ignore me. Do something. There's a man dying here. Help me. I will. I'm going to put an end to this mess. It's open! Greg. I've got some bad news. You better take a seat then. They know about Molly. <sighs> what? What do they know? What could they possibly know? Well, they know that your work's gone downhill dramatically since you've been with her. Debatable. Listen, the bottom line is, it's her or your job. I'm sorry. Well, I've got work tomorrow. I'm sure that you do too, Greg. I'll let myself out. Make the right choice, Greg.
You're not even listening to me, are you? This has got to stop. What? We have to stop seeing each other. What, why would we do that? I can't see you anymore, Molly. I need to concentrate on my work. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. No, I'm not kidding. They said it's either you or my job. And you'd rather choose your job over me? No, you don't understand. You're damn right I don't understand. I don't even know what you do. You sure as hell don't collect antiques, Greg. What is it that you do? I can't tell you. I just... Oh, I'm such an idiot. Do you know what? I really thought that you were the one, but it turns out that I actually know nothing about you. You wouldn't even believe me, even if I told you. Oh, don't give me that crap. Maybe I should just go to the police right now. What? I've seen the lists, Greg. I've seen the names. Oh, and did I mention that they're all dead? What are you, like a killer or something? Shh! Keep it down. Tell me, Greg, who are you? What do you do? Okay, but keep an open mind. Imagine a world where no one dies. People live forever, but babies are still being born. Death isn't as natural as you'd think. It needs to be invited, invited by people like us, the Reapers. We maintain the delicate balance of life and death. For every baby born, someone dies. That's my job. I'm a Reaper. I... I believe you, Greg, but Reapers are for fairy tales. No, Molly, Reapers are quite real and have existed since the dawn of time. That's how it all works. Greg, stop it. How am I supposed to believe in a story like this? Come with me, let me show you. Just remember, we all have our time. I don't make the rules, I'll just do my job. Greg, I... Uh... I'm going to go home. I just need time to think about this, OK? Death. Eternal life for everyone. 